guys. Up next here, a recipe from the heart. Take a 1,400 pound pumpkin and let some top chefs do the rest. Such a great story. We're going to show you how this enormous vegetable, I'd even that start cutting it, <laughs> uh, inspired some great dishes, some good deeds, and helped a lot of people in the process. This is the early show on CBS. Uh, one of the nicest things, welcome back everyone, one of the nicest things about the holidays is uh, how so many people make the time and effort to help others. Mm -hmm. So when one New York City charity received an unusual food donation this month, they knew just who to call. The result looks more like a cooking competition than a charity event, and appropriately for the season, the key ingredient here is pumpkin. Early show contributor Taryn Winterbrill has more. When it comes to feeding New York's hungry, City Harvest has a simple solution. Waste not, want not. They take leftover food from restaurants or markets and turn it into free meals. No donation is too small, or in this case, too big. The event today is about a giant pumpkin, over 1,400 pounds. Which means carving it will take some serious muscle. And who better than New York's finest chefs? More of an excavation than carving. <laughs> All they needed? Oh, I was given the wrong tool. A bigger knife. Yay! Success! There's another pumpkin right. inside here. Oh, top chefs are really important to City Harvest. They'll work with us to get this great pumpkin carved up and turned into probably not pumpkin pie, but all sorts of other delicious things. That's it's heavy. That's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, we're it's got pumpkin everywhere. all over the right. kitchen today. So what are we making? So Our first stop is Ditch Plains, one of Mark Murphy's five New York restaurants. I understand why you were absent at the carving. I had a little surgery, but I'm okay. I'm fine. So what are we making? Pumpkin quinoa salad, our candied walnuts, some of that goat cheese, some scallions, a little bit of parsley, and then we're going to put the fancy vinaigrette in there. The idea that people are here in New York and aren't able to eat and don't have enough food to eat, it just kills me. It's a nice, generous amount of pumpkin. Absolutely, well. and here you go. It's a tasty treat. That's really great. Pumpkin palooza. Mm. Pumpkin palooza. <laughs> you were no sweet genius. On the Food Network, Ron Ben Israel is one genius. sweet genius. Are you ready to bake? I am. So it was no surprise that he chose to make something for dessert. We are making pumpkin bread pudding. Did you say hack? Yeah, hack. That's good. <laughs> we started by roasting the donated pumpkin. The oven. So you're welcome to use crusty old bread. Then he put me to work. I'm going to pour the melted butter All right. over the breadcrumbs which you're going to toss. We're going to fill almost to the top each ramekin. I like to serve the bread pudding in individual ramekins. It's very delightful and you don't feel as guilty. Red pumpkin. Now it's really good for the muscles. Feel this. Make a muscle. I am making a muscle. Yeah. That's Some milk and cream, brown sugar and eggs. Okay. Does not have to be even. Mm. Got nice and brown. I'm waiting to see your expression. Mm. Is it? That's incredible. How many of these red puddings do you think you'll make as a part of this program for the holiday well, I season? I think easy. We'll make a few thousand. Wow. Because That's a lot of pudding. All right. How are we doing? So I went to meet all the man right. responsible all for right. picking all it all up. It's wonderful nice. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is this your busiest time of year? Always. Always the busiest time. Unfortunately, there's more layoffs, so we have more work to do. But uh, that's our mission, to feed people, and that's what we do. With dessert in tow, we headed out to collect the rest. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good morning. Hi, Chef Kerry. How are you? Good to see you. And shake your hand. How's your arm? I still have the cast. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've got roast pumpkin with caramelized onions, red beans, and cumin. A whole lot of soup out of that big, big piece of pumpkin. Excellent. And once we made our last pickup. Yeah. Lots Hold of quinoa in there? Lots of it, yes. So, Eddie, is this the best part of your day? Delivering oh, yeah. all this food? Oh, to... delivering. That's the best part. It was yeah. time for the most important stop. Okay. St. James Food Kitchen. I hope they like pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> A five-star feast for those who need it most. Taryn Winterbrill, CBS News, New York. I think we're one of your oldest. City Harvest is such a fantastic Love it. organization. And you think about it, you look at it, and you say, huh, why didn't we start doing that a long time ago? So much, you know, so much excess that can go to help so many. It's really a, a great reminder, not just today, but really every day of the year. Good for them. Uh, if you want to try any of those pumpkin dishes, by the way, you can look for the recipes on our website, earlyshow.cbsnews. Dot com. I had pumpkin mac and cheese the other day, actually. Oh, I put butternut squash in butternut pumpkin. I'd like to try that. We'll have more. Just ahead.